Hello everyone, it's Nikki Jameson here and I am back with another video and in this video we're going to look at doing a watercolour stencil painting or rather a painting using Rebel's stencil feature to create a watercolour. So if you're looking at my screen right now, uh, this is a watercolour that I did um, some time ago. Um, very recently actually and I was just playing around with stencils uh, in Rebel uh, just to show you what you could get. Now I added some embellishments uh, to, to this and I did this on, on several layers and you'll see that I used um, masking in, the, in, in this particular piece. I'm going to try and do or endeavour to do another, um, another painting similar but we will just have to see what happens. So I'm going to uh, turn off that group of uh, th that group of layers at the moment for that painting and I'm going to endeavour to start doing another painting. It's going to be very abstract and we'll see how we get on. Started with the oil, an oil uh, background. I did that, I did it kind of secondary. Um, let's just see if I want to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to reset this brush. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to increase the opacity and the oiliness. I'm going to tr and I will uh, try and mix and blend it. Now um, I want to make that a little bit lighter. I'm using my color wheel and uh, taking it from the um, oil pigmentation colors here, which are the typical uh, painter colors. So this is really random. I don't actually know if this is the a background I would actually uh use. I certainly didn't I certainly did it slightly differently the last time, but we'll see we'll see how we go. It's always good not to be too uh prescriptive with this. And I have to say at this point that um Rebel I've just up updated the latest uh Rebel version which was to fix some some bugs. Uh, the program has been crashing on me uh, a couple of times uh, today, so I'm hoping that the update has fixed that. So, you know, just keep your fingers crossed that we we get to the end. Usually it's pretty good, but, you know, it's software you never can tell. And, you know, on our uh, systems, you just have to be prepared for that eventuality. So what I will do is I'll try and save by doing control S. I'll try and save as I go along and then we'll hope for the best. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just created a background. So I used blending. I used first of all the uh, paint and then I mixed uh, some blues and greys and I've just blended this and I've used the oil brush for this. Now, Rebel mixes watercolour and oils quite well. Actually this is really quite soothing to do this. I like I like doing this. I'm going to introduce a little bit more white and you'll notice as I do that it switches back to paint and mix. It automatically does that. I'm not quite sure whether I like it doing that but I mean you know it's fine. I, I think it's just something I have to get um, some different used talking. to. So I'm going to go back to my paintbrush and then I'm going to add another layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now before I go to my next layer, I'm going to go to my watercolour brushes where I've got all my watercolour brushes here. Now, here we are. So stencils. So stencils, let me go back and show you that. Let's close that. They're under, they're under window and under window you can see I've got tools showing. I've got all the places where you've got tick marks there. They are the palettes that are showing. So under layers... Uh, there's the uh, uh, stencils which you can also press F10 and you will sh it will bring up the stencils window. Ooh, I did not want it to do that. But anyway, here is the stencils window. So Rebel comes with some pre-made stencils and also you can make your own stencils. I've made a couple of stencils uh, here and I've put them in here. But right now what we're going to do is that we're going to use the flower stencil and I'm going to open the flower stencil. So what it uh, 
does it puts it on uh the the spare layer that you've got and the way you control this stencil is uh you can move it around by hovering over the stencil mark here you'll see you see how it changes you can move it around you can actually um make it larger or smaller with this with this uh, little cross one here and if you uh, click on this uh, three, these three bars here, you can flip, you can um, add a border, and you can lock the stencil, and you can even invert it. And on this one, you can actually rotate the stencil. So right now, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to make the stencil, let's see, how many do we want to do here? I'm going to make the stencil just medium size. I'm going to put, I'm going to angle it here. Um... Make it a little bit. You have to get get used to moving it with this rather than on the stencil itself. Okay. Anyway, so we've got this instance of the stencil, uh, and with that, with with that, what you can do then is that you can um, you can paint over this, and it will allow you to paint where where the, sh the shape of the, the flower. So. I'm going to do, um, let's pick a nice bluey colour here. If you just paint over it, what it should do, oh, if you if you skip over it, um, you all, you'll get paint on your canvas. So that was my fault, but it doesn't matter for now. So if you paint within the, sten within the stencil box, it will allow you to paint in that box and uh, I can add another color here so you can add as many colors as you want uh, we are on the watercolor actually it should be on the paints and uh, just to demo this and I'm just trying to remember what I did I want to choose a darker color here just because to let it show so all I'm doing is I'm painting uh, if I move it actually I want what I want to do is actually move it down here and I'm going to do another painting, uh, another uh, colour over it. Let's pick, we're still on this oil. Let's pick something bright. Let's go for this nice red, which is actually coming out maybe purpley. So it's a deeper red here. Let's go for a bit lighter. So I'm just using brush am I using here? Oh, I'm using a gouache brush actually. It's probably why it's not dripping as much. I'm going to go to a watercolour round. Interesting. I don't know why it went to the gouache brush. Probably because I used it before. So I'm, I'm trying to not um, paint over the um, edge this time. But anyway, I put some, some colour there. Okay, so... So here we are with our uh, finished stencil. So what we did is that we moved. Uh, in fact, what I did is that I did it on a. Uh, I did it on the same layer. Probably would have made more sense for me to do it on a separate layer than I could move them around. But no matter, uh, it, we can still do something. Now to remove the stencil, you can do uh, Control Control A. Oh, not not Control A. Uh, you can just. Oh yeah, it's not Control. That's in another program. <laughs> <laughs> to remove the stencil, you can simply do backspace or you can click on these three bars and, and then it, you can click remove. So I'm going to close it and then just do backspace just to show you the right way to, to do it. Um, because sometimes it can be hard to hover on that little three bar thing. It could be a little bit finicky. So here we have our two stencils and uh, or rather our stencil that was made from... Uh, from that pattern you can always you know do another layer if you want add another layer and uh, you can add another stencil maybe the same maybe the same flower stencil if you want you know you could pull it up there and uh, make it smaller or larger okay and then you just hit backspace to get rid of it so We've got like a plain stencil here. What I'm going to do now, instead of adding another stencil to that, I'm going to start adding some paint. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to, it's not really dripping as much. And I was going to record this, but never mind. It's not really 
uh, dripping as much because I was using gouache. Um, but that's all right. We've got it that way. I'm going to attempt to do some painting. Now, we can use, I want to try and use a complementary color that's not going to hide or, you know, not hide it too much. So let's go for this, I don't know, maybe this dark blue, say. Maybe that might be a little bit too close to it. But anyway, I'm on another layer here. And I'm going to go with um, a round brush. Uh, it's fairly big. And I'll just save that just be, just in case. I'm a bit paranoid with the... Uh, in fact, I'll go with the... Let's go with the mop. And let's pick... Let's pick this orange. This orange. Okay. And let's see what we get. So, I'm going to be... Because it's underneath, because it's a layer underneath, well, in fact, you know what, I can actually turn that layer off. I'm just going to make some really, uh, what I used last time, I think I used some pastel colors because they went really nicely with what I was doing, but I was actually using uh, plain paper, white paper. It wasn't blue, so I don't really know about my decision to use a blue background, but oh well. So I used a mop at a fairly large size. You can see the watercolor. Actually, let's make this a bit smaller and move it up. A bit. Uh, okay. Uh, add some color in there to darken it a little bit. Put some more pink. I'm going to make it a bit smaller and if you can just you can just uh you can vary the brushes that you use to put this background and you can do as many and let's just you know blend that a little bit so we have some organic to it don't like how it's sort of making the brushes go up there i really do like this having this yellow in it so I will blend that again but you can blend it as much as you want so now let's turn on our stencil and see how we're doing so now we have mm, that looks okay uh, if you want you could uh, actually duplicate uh, the layer that gives you two layers and then you can go control T and you can you can move those layers around okay but i'm going to turn off that duplicate layer for now so as not to confuse things and go back to my stencil um layer and so here we have you can see the the watercolor actually beginning uh to drip so you can make uh you can make this abstract let me pick another layer here you can use you know different uh, brushes and just you know add more paint options here you don't have to use these these colors obviously I'm just sort of showing you this uh, you can blend that make your brush larger so this is a runnier brush and if you don't want to paint on uh, that layer, always make sure you can either turn it off or always make sure that you've got. Um, oh, did I paint on my layer? Oh, that's my stencil. Yep. Yeah. OK, so my layer 10 is above. So what I want to do is make sure it's underneath the stencil. That way I'm not I'm not hiding uh, the my, my flowers. OK, so you can do whatever you want there. So, so I'm going to close the stencil window for now get it out of the way and I'm going to import a couple of textures just to uh, show you how you can embellish that a little bit okay so what I've done is I've imported a couple of uh, elements that we can just try and see how we want to um, play around with with these so on my uh, stencil layer I've got my stencil layer here and 
I've got a couple of elements and I want to show you how some ways that you can um, you can you can use these elements so one of the things the first thing I brought in was this um, uh, this texture right it's called rainbow it's called rainbow scratch it's just a texture and I've just put that uh, below my uh, stencil and I've opened my stencil now one of the things you can try and do you can actually try and uh, maybe you can use a with a with a clipping mask if you clip it to your stencil and in this, this case I've clipped it to my layer one copy right actually I don't want to let's undo that um, let's do it to this layer right and do clipping mask so that way if I do control T I've clipped a texture hold you can hold your uh, control your control key I've clipped it to this uh, texture okay uh, up to to the stencil okay so the uh, the stencil will determine how much gets covered by the texture now you might not you might not want that or you might not want all of it or all of it on but you could say okay for now let's just see okay and you'll see it covers some of it and it leaves a bit of a heart uh, an edge there now if you don't want you want to let's say you want to use some of it and not all of it what you can do is uh, click click on the actual texture click to add a layer mask and actually yeah you can do add layer mask I actually thought you couldn't do that so then what you do you go to uh, black paint you go and maybe get like a pastel brush increase the size uh, decrease the uh, just medium opacity and then if you just paint with that you can paint out the bits that you don't want okay so we can get our nice color back okay you might need to press a little bit harder let's try uh, let's try this other pastel quite sure how these brushes work I'm not that familiar with the pastels okay so here I've actually added added some texture a little bit of interest to that and I've painted away using black paint you can paint away the pit, the bits that you don't like okay so that's one way you can add some interest by adding a texture and of course you can add layer masks to um, as many layers as you want I've just added it to the one so I've clipped it to the stencil and stencils are really good for doing that because um, they are a they're essentially a shape so the next thing you can do is you can do something similar and I brought in this other element I'm going to do control T oh not on that one let's do cancel I didn't I clicked on the wrong thing so you want to make sure you're on the right level uh, layer so I'm on this this is the uh, this black uh, little pencil squiggle right if I do control T on that then I can move that around okay and I can press control and I can extend it and uh, constrain it and distort it okay I'm gonna just say okay now if you don't like this come on come on rebel if you don't like this black color you can actually change the color of this you can go to your blend modes and add change it to something like screen uh, now that make that might make it disappear so you would have to play with the different um, blend modes here but another way you can you can do this instead of going to your blend modes especially with with black because um, if you have something like screen you can you can change the color but you can do control I to invert uh, to invert the uh, the mark and you will get um, this nice white color which I think goes really well with it and is less sort of intrusive than the than the black um, color now why is that Ooh, yeah so we want to move this layer copy underneath that way we've got our other thing there yeah it was I was wondering why it was a bit dim okay so what we've done here we've done control I so we've got our mark here you could do uh, control I don't actually know you can do control J I'm not in Photoshop <laughs> uh, you can duplicate that layer and then you could do control T and you can move 
You've got two then, and you can move it around, maybe even take it off the, the page a little bit, completely up to you. Uh, you can just say, uh, okay, I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, just cancel it and not put two for now, okay? Uh, but you've got a, a mark there and you know, you can add as many layers as you want and paint away You can add another layer mask and paint away the bits that you don't want But the next one I'm going to do is to show you how to just do something similar and add some ephemera so this is This is um, some ephem ephemera that I imported in there are lots of ways you can um, work with this now you probably don't want this whole great big ephemera blocking out your picture so if I press control and press and uh, my left mouse button I'm using my mouse with my control key you can you can actually move it around now if you say okay you will position it okay and here you can actually go to the blend modes and prep and see which ones you like if any of them work for you so if you use color burn Color burn gives a nice kind of uh, it takes away most of the light. It leaves the uh, the, the the dark. Okay, so that's a nice uh, option. You can also try linear burn, um, and you can try. Oh, you did have we did have screen here, but overlay makes a a bit more of a statement, which is useful, but it might sort of clash with what you've got there. Um, and then you've got soft light. I think I'm going to go with oh, and you can also. This is a good um, thing here. You can also scroll with your mouse if you're using a mouse. Scroll through the blend modes and you get lots of different blend modes. It will show you, it will scroll through all of them, which is actually nice than going through the drop down every single minute, which is a bit of a pain. So I, this is Linear Burn. I think I'm going to go for, um, let's see which one. Color burn. I think just for argument's sake, I'm going to go for color burn. Um, I'm still on that layer. I'm going to go control T. I'm going to move it slightly to, I don't know. Let's have it there. And because I might want a layer mask to that, I'm going to go back to my, um, I don't know, my oil pastel. Uh, paint in black. Make sure you're in black. You can use the color wheel as well. And I'm just going to paint away um, some of this, not all of it, because we want it. We want some of it, most of it, okay? But you can actually get quite a nice, um, and you don't have to use an oil pastel brush. You could just use the brush that, uh, I wouldn't use a watercolor brush, okay? And I, you could use an oil brush for this as well. But what you're doing is you're painting in black and you're painting away parts of this ephemera piece and you will leave most of it but then you get a kind of nice uh, interesting effect okay so I'm gonna leave that there there's obviously lots more things you can do but what we've done is that we've we've uh, created a stencil abstract um, if you didn't want to paint the back or you wanted to close the other layer because maybe you didn't like it, you can, um, you can always turn any of these layers off. That's why it's a good idea to do things on different layers. You can also change the opacity of, of your layer and you can also change uh, the, the background. So you can get rid of a lot of that blue uh, by just having a different, black, uh, a different uh, background by setting it to a, a blend mode. So lots of really lovely options to create abstracts using stencils. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something and hopefully I will see you in another video. Take care, have fun and keep painting.